Hi, welcome to another how-to by myself, Rob Allen. Today we're going to show part four of the Timberline guns. Here we're going to demonstrate the advantage of having hooks under the barrel for the roller guns. On non-roller guns, there are no hooks because they're not necessary, but for roller, it does make a big difference. The advantages of the Timberline over the standard pipe gun is we have two loading points for the bands. This is in the deep hard point and it allows you to enables you to shoot the gun at a lower power and also give you a second option when it comes to loading. Once loaded on the underside, you can now tension it to the second point. So the advantage of having the first stage loading option is so that the rubber can be loaded to the spear and then you can load the rubber from the middle hook to the back hook. To load, bring the lines together, get your hands underneath, pull back whilst pressing the wishbone to the bottom of the gun, in other words, up towards the barrel. What does happen if you use this point or the other point and it doesn't have this extra hook, when it fires, this can pop out. So that second hook is to prevent that from disengaging. To disengage, you need to push the wishbone towards the surface of the barrel. Pull back to release the rubber from the hook, keeping the wishbone close to the barrel, pulling back to engage the rubber into the rear hook. It is a good idea to practice tensioning from this point to the back point a few times without the gun loaded. That'll get your finger muscle memory to get used to how this works. About 50% of our guys rather use the underhooks to load. The other 50% use the conventional load assist. If you prefer using the load assist, simply hook your band to the rear high powered notch before you load the front. On the non-timber line, the standard pipe guns, our band anchors have to be right at the back. This gives you a longer pull, but slightly harder to load. Whereas with the timber line, it does come slightly further forward. For this, we do shorten the rubbers by five centimeters. So you're getting much of a much as when it comes to the, the load power. The advantage of the timber line is there are two points where you can load to. This enables you to depower the gun when shooting in a cave, which you can't really do on a conventional gun. And there you have it. Thank you for watching part four of the Timberline series.